board for a second concept review. Mm. No, because none of us have seen this. None of us have seen this. Would you introduce yourselves for the record? And okay. Hi, my name is Allison Lee from DGB. Yeah, and this is Hye Jun Kim from DGB too. Thank you. Um, so then after the a meeting that was uh, set up, I guess, two weeks ago? The, the consent ago, item? Uh -huh. right. Oh, Allison sorry. Lee. And yeah. Hye Jun Kim. You have to hear yourself spoken, so we want to make sure that okay. you pick up anyone. I don't want to be shouting. <laughs> To say it again? Hey Jun Kim. Okay, so um, we might get the spelling from you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have looked at uh, quite a few items, including um, two awnings, the color of the stucco that was um, at the pedestrian level, as well as the window frames and the door frame. Um, And we have um, prepared a samples of those colors as well. So it might be slightly dis different from what you see on the picture. So if you wanna, if you wanna look at the awnings first, those two awnings, uh, we have looked at different precedent uh, images in the neighborhood, and we have decided to go with the rather simpler uh, one that does not show the iron works on the front. So it'll show the fabric which we have decided to go with, uh, the owner wants to go with the charcoal gray from some umbrella. And we have, it's, it's not obvious on the um, rendering there, but the, the window frames there are actually in the shades of uh, brunium and this one, which we have picked it up from the reference guide. And the that's awning that's color the as well. Frame. Right. Yeah. The, frame. the door, uh, window frames. And then at the back, where the door is located, we have decided to go a little bit darker to match with the color of the awning. That's the door? That yes. Door. Is it the, the door? Right, at the, the back. Door frame color. The door frame color. Yeah, so that's the color of the yeah. Right. Yeah, stucco and Shades of gray. Stucco as well as the uh, window frames. And for the tile that was here, yeah, in the existing drawing, they want to uh, replace it with the stucco, which will be the same color as this. Is that the building color, that tan color? This? No. This no, is no, an no, I know color. that. No. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, right. That's the building color? No, that's the window sash. Window, window, window sash. No, 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 no. Not this. Not that that we have decided to leave it as a, this? like, yeah, the that bottom. same, that right. Oh, 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 I see. So you're it's a slight shade of... Uh, And the new right. plaster with the same yeah, color, right. this, this color right there. Oh, this is right. But we're going to replace the tile with the stucco. I see. Yeah. Could you hand me that black color chair? Take it outside in the sun and see the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some pictures <laughs> done the image of the black awning around the, this, like a there area. Yeah, you may still be here at sunrise. So there's I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, long time ago. And what, what is the shades that's actually okay. comes from the chart yeah, where yeah. we have reference. Okay, time okay. Ago, okay. I have no idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, definitely. Why yeah. didn't you choose pink? <laughs> <laughs> well, that no, was for secondary <coughs> colors. Yeah. Okay. So I have a question then. Uh, where this color stops, where it's tile, what ha what happens at that corner? Does, the, does this column or this piece yeah, come this out column, more? Yeah, like this. Oh, I see. It actually yeah. continues, yeah, right? Continues. So then the pedestrian level will have the same color. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the upper level is kept. So that, that comes out, and that comes out, what, two inches? That. It comes out, so it's separated. You mean the, with the, this color? No, I think we're just painting this. Yeah, just, just paint. Well, but I mean, is there a physical line 
other than that corner there where one building ends and the next one starts. So I think it's right here, painting? isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we see it yeah. better there. Yeah, right. so it Let's goes right up to there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we see it better right in there. Okay, so um, this black color is that For the, this the door, door right. also these pieces? Yeah, okay. like, like this. this okay, shows so it stops yeah. right there. Yeah. And um, are you planning on removing the tile, physically removing it? And then applying stucco, or are we planning on stuccoing over the tile? I think uh, over the tile. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So the stucco layer would end up being flush or underneath? Underneath. Yeah, underneath. Yeah. Underneath. Yeah. By By how oh, I see. It used to be blue, right? Right. Blue yeah. tile. Yeah, right. it got painted. Now Recently. After public comment, I'll make a comment. Okay. Are you done with your presentation? Yep. I'm going to ask for public comment. Is there any? If there's not, I'm going to close public comment. I'll ask for questions, even though we've had them. Any others? I will now ask for comments. Um. Do we know what the comments were on consent calendar? No. Maybe you stated them. Yeah, it was here. here. No. They haven't taken it. Yeah, yes. Hmm. Awning color, concerns about fading dust, et cetera. All colors will do that. Door and mullion colors, they did not like the white. Try to use suggested colors from chart provided by the city of Santa Barbara. Painted tile, concern about scuffing and paint coming off. Suggest another color of tile to complement. They need a picture of the entire building and immediate business neighbors include roof elements. Pictures of similar awnings in the area to support your choice and position. Have the same picture of the business with the black awnings that you emailed Mike at Signorama. Eliminate support stanchion in the awning and have the colors represented as off the black. A new submittal package and three copies of all. This came Thank from you. the consent calendar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the stanchion comment? Oh, actually, the previous three. Well, it's just a, this is just a pipe. Yeah. Shows it on Cross the side and the horizontal. So yes. in the section issue. Well. Okay. Well, Madam Chair, then my comments are mm -hmm. that uh, the awning color, while it's unusual, yes. um, I would find it acceptable, but I think the 12-inch valance is too tall. I think 8 or something like that is a more typical scale. And we have seen this at sign committee already, so there's no signage proposed on the balances. Um, I think that this black color is too too black, um, and I'm not saying it needs to be a gray like that. But there are just like there are off whites, there are off blacks. Mm -hmm. So something that's more of a brown black or right. a red black, green black, something like that is right. is more appropriate. Right. Um, I think tile has more character, but I think stucco is um, um, is traditional, and so it would be acceptable. However, um, it's not that easy a matter to apply the stucco over the tile, and um, I think the stucco would end up coming out further than the wood detail, yeah. which once again isn't necessarily a bad thing because it can roll up. back. But we need a, 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 a scale yeah. detail, a large. Uh, size that shows exactly what you're doing and how the finished profile is going to be so that we know what to expect. Um, I think all stucco needs to be the same color, so I don't think that it makes any sense for this band and going up the side to be a different color than the rest of the wall above. So I think that the woodwork should be articulated from the stucco so that your, your color for the woodwork, I, I find that acceptable, but all this stucco should all be the same color. I mean, to the top of the Yeah, building. it should match that color. Or if you want to, yeah, that's nice too. Yeah. I mean, this might be a more appropriate choice, but I would, it depends upon what other commissioners have to say about this awning. So I agree with those comments. Different materials you have different colors. Mm -hmm. So uh, in general, you, you don't use like wood and, and plaster and paint them the same color. So they're different. I, think all, I agree, with, especially with mm -hmm. that comment. It would be easier probably just to take the tile and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and, and put.
the code of class okay. in there. Um, I, the, the only thing I would add is that I'm not sure how those um, supports are. Yeah, it, I, I know across the, the, the street on my building. It's a um, steel it, tube. It, it, yeah, it's it, 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 yeah, on, on the Balboa it's building across the street, it, it's one like that. It's, it, does, it does not have mm -hmm. authorization. It does not have Danmax um, um, approval. So look for something more like uh, the ones you're showing. You know, it's just a little steel. That, that detail is to be better. So that well, there should be sword points on them. I mean, that's what we approve in the district. No, but they should. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? <laughs> so listen up. Are there any other comments? Well, I agree that uh, I agree that the uh, that the the wood color should be one thing, and the, and that the the building, the stucco, and everything should remain in a different color, white. Probably, I don't know about the. I, I'm kind of concerned about the idea of uh, putting stucco over this tile. Won't that chip off? Well, it can be done, but it's going to bring it out. It, it would be simpler, as Alex said, probably just get the tile, tile off of there. Right. Yeah. yeah, we can do then that. The, yeah. <clears throat> so we, what, we what could does the commission feel about that awning color? I don't think anybody else commented. That's okay. Uh, on, on, on black? On, on what they're this. proposing to have one. Instead of the black. Uh, it's that's more acceptable mm -hmm. than, than, than black. Well, this dark um, gray-brown is there's probably other examples of that around town so yeah there's some there so would it be your preference to use something dark i mean i'm just afraid that just well, it's going to show everything it's well it's not so much that it's just that uh, i've never seen that around well du dust on, on this is just on yeah it's position. going to go really bad right it's going to yeah. be worse yeah. probably I just can't make an argument that there's anything traditional about that gray. I would agree with that, but I don't know what to say. It's a little softer, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, like I say, I would find it acceptable, so everybody finds yeah. it acceptable. There's so this. Gray anyway. yeah. Yeah. It'll fade when the sun gets under the yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. 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 the sun. Yeah. The application, the color of the awning. So do you think it would be better if we use the light maybe for the stucco and then have the shades of this for the window frames? Mm -hmm. We could do that. Yeah. yeah. To have the same white language all the way on the... I have a motion for continuance. Can, can Second. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. To read with the conditions. The, uh, the plaster... Yeah. Right, with following comments, right? Like the, the, co uh, the color of the plaster... Uh, under under the sill to match the plaster with the rest of the building. Yeah, we're going to make color, it as white. The color of the uh, of the uh, storefront is acceptable as presented. The mm -hmm. trim. Yeah, yeah. The window the, trim. The window trim. The color of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, door uh, should be uh, black. more muted, l less less intense. And off black. Off off black. Yeah. The uh, the uh, detail of the the color of the awning is acceptable the detail of the brackets needs to be more traditional and to provide a detail stucco um, okay. and the uh, uh, brackets <laughs> wait I, I already yeah. said he already I said, said, already said both of those he <laughs> already <laughs> said that provide a detail right. the stucco? yeah well, he's, going, he's well. going to remove the she's going to right, remove the tile and okay. to put and plastic put stucco. Stucco. Did you wish to comment about the depth of the valence? Yeah, that okay. would be something to reduce the depth of the uh, uh, valence, not the eight inches, mm -hmm. the height of the valence, eight inches. Okay, so that's the so motion. It is two, second. Two weeks. Is that acceptable oh, to the applicant? I'll second. Eight inches. All those in favor? Aye. Two weeks Aye. enough time for you. Opposed? Yep. Okay. More than that. <laughs> yeah. Abstain. The motion carries. If you're opposed. Okay. Next item. Oh, I'm sorry. And the last <laughs> item, 710, Anna Kappa.
down there too. Oh my, what a thrill. Okay, while we're setting up, I'm going to read the stuff? comments. It was laying here, so. Do you want us to introduce These ourselves are the comments? for the record? Oh, go right ahead. Lisa Plowman, Piker Group Architects. Teddy Piker, Piker Group Architects. Carlos Adame, the owner. Thank you. The comments from the last meeting were continued two weeks for the applicant to provide CAD drawings and the following comments. On the landscape, simplify the, pa the palette, particularly the canopy trees at the street. Study providing more appropriate species as opposed to the clumping bamboo. Correct the lawn substitute designation on the plans. Provide vines on the roof deck walls. The mass bulk and scale continue to be acceptable. The tower should remain in the proportion as shown on the current plans and that it should have a low slope roof as presented. <clears throat> At least one commissioner preferred the proposed ornamentation of the tower and the extension of that ornamentation to that property line elevation. The garage opening not having a door is a concern and this issue needs to be resolved. Please. Okay, I well, hope to just keep it really simple uh, for everyone today so we can all get out of here. Well, all we did was we took Why would the you think we'd want to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Just make it really slow. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll really, I'm, I'm going to give you the whole history of the project. Only two well, years We've already ago, had that on the Elencanto. <laughs> Keep going. Well, I think since it was only two uh, weeks ago, uh, we could just go right ahead. So the last time we showed you a, set, a, a, a sketch version of this uh, proposal um, and you asked us to uh, uh, translate it into a full CAD drawing uh, in order to accomplish our preliminary approval. And that's really what we're here for is just to get your preliminary approval of this design and uh, move forward. So you'll see here that a couple of things that we did do is we, we equalized the, the piers here by making some adjustments. I want to add that there will be a garage door there. That's, that's been resolved. Um, then the only other thing is uh, on the other elevations, you'll see the and, and actually, we, at the last game, we showed both, and I got the impression that either one or the other was fine, and so we kind of stuck with the arch window. Uh, in this elevation, the bar relief we added, we, we are incorporating it as we had shown in, in the sketches, but we wanted to do it a little in a little bit more of a subtle manner by by rather than doing it in such a way that it looked it gave the appearance of these pilasters coming all the way down to the ground. We know some examples around town of uh, uh, a condition where this is feathered out of the body of the of the building and just. Uh, Kind of appears as you as you go up, uh, and I thought that looked uh, it just looked more subtle and somehow more appropriate for the for the building if we're going to have that detail. And then of course we have the the cap on the tower. The overall height is uh, 32 feet one inches, and then the uh, the basic height of the building is is really a pretty modest 25 foot five inches. You know, for a two story building. That's, that's what we have it down to. So it's really only this one small element of the tower that, that actually did, approaches that. Did you see that change in the window, Debbie? Well, I ha we haven't changed that. There, there's a door here, and someone mentioned that, uh, uh, you know, maybe we could move that door over. It would, would be sort of difficult given the floor plan, so we'd like to keep it over there. But if, if you know, if that's an issue for anyone, then, you know, we can ex we can, I can show you what that would look like with the door moved over. But it's a little bit of a problem from the floor plan perspective. Do you have anything else you'd like to say uh, before I, I ask for questions? I'm going to ask the questions from the public. I, I, I just add, oh, add right. one last thing, and that has to do with the landscape plan. We didn't come back today with all the revisions. We felt that we'd come back. Actually, I think we're ready in a couple of weeks to come back for final, and we'll have all those revisions incorporated into the landscape plan then at that time. So that's it. Okay. Are there any questions from the public? Any comments? I'll close public comment. I'll take questions from the commission now. Um, are there any? Uh, quick, yeah, I do yes. have a question. This, what, what is this element? That's uh, ra a wrought iron planter. 
pot, pot it's shelf. A, yeah, it's 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 a three-dimensional wrought iron ornamental. So it has no sides. It, it well, you can see if you look up really close, you can see that there's there's a wrought iron features in there, and then the pots sit inside of that. I see. So it's, it's say metal. Or metal. Uh, right, like right, right, iron. Okay. Yeah, and we'll have a de you know a, a larger scale detail when we come back next yeah. time. Are there any other questions? How, how tall are these doors? I think those are eight-foot doors. They're eight-foot doors. Yeah. And we only have a nine-foot ceiling in there, so. I see. And you had a transom here, but choose not to. Well, I don't think there's really, it really makes sense anymore well, to have a transom. That might have been an yeah. earlier concept. And the roof, did it change? Here it looks like it goes straight across, <clears throat> as it did here. But it looks like the roof dives in the CAD drawings. Well, maybe this is a more <clears throat> accurate depiction, because after mm -hmm. all, there's a roof garden there. And so the roof can only go so far uh, into that uh, space there. Do I have any other questions? None? I'll ask for comments then. Yes. Oh, I, before I do that, um, Daddy, you were quite clear last time that you wish that whoever was not here at that meeting should not weigh in on this one. Mr. Drury oh, was not you. here at that time. Yeah, and that is up to you. you know, normally, I, I would have no problem with anybody. But I, I just felt that in this case, you know, it's kind of a delicate matter. And mm -hmm. Mr. Drury has not been present really for any of the hearings except for one. And it, it seemed appropriate that he was. Okay, so you wish to stay with that. It's different what kind of bomb I'm going to throw. <laughs> <laughs> no whispering in our ear. Okay, so just, all right, then. So, Madam Chair, uh, I think that this is very substantially in conformance with what we asked for last time and with the um, hand drawn drawings. Um, so I'm prepared to uh, vote for a preliminary approval today. I think. You know, the little things I see, for the most part, are details, which we can work on in progress. Um, the one, well, actually, I guess I did have a question. Um, this detail where you are fading it back into the wall, would I understand that this is plumb uh, in the same plane as this, and that this wall section here is folding back in a little no, bit? I don't think that's yeah. So if I looked at the side, or yeah. do I you see that? You would see, it may not be reflected uh, you know, accurately, yeah. but yeah, it yeah. actually starts yeah. to grow a little bit. Okay. By, but we're talking about a couple of inches. Basically. Okay. Well, then I, I would say I potentially have a problem with that, and I would like to see how that resolves itself. But, you know, I had made the comment last time. Well, I'm the one that made the comment about the door, but you've kind of resolved that by, by this approach. You no longer have this awkward design of the line going around the door, so I think that probably will take care of that. But I had also said that I didn't think it was necessary here, and it just was trying to force it into that space. But even worse is here. It just, you know, it, 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 if you started with that and then you integrated fenestration into it, that'd be one thing. But I don't think there's anything gained by having it. So now, if you no longer had it here and here, that just means on this elevation here, here you'd see that bulge out, mm -hmm. um, but not looking at this elevation. Looking at this elevation, you'd see it bulge out a little bit. So, you know, when I see that in a drawing, maybe I'll be convinced that'd be fine. Uh, you know, your other opportunity, possibility, is for this wall to batter in a little uh -huh. bit. So I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, that's a, a, an area of concern I have. Other than that, I think everything's been addressed before. Um, I Thank you. Comment, and that's, um, you know, I, I, I think I appreciate Commissioner House's comments. I think they're minor comments. I think this building has come along. But I, I'm very hesitant um, to, to uh, grant preliminary uh, approval of the landscape portion. And this is a question to staff, uh, because I just want to be happy with with the tree choices, and I'm I'm 
I'm, uh, I'm not happy right now. It's, it's just way too much. Uh, we, we can do a, a lot more with less. And I'm, uh, experience tells me that, that I, I would, we should see the landscape plan even briefly just to make sure we're on the right track. Could we not give a preliminary to architecture today and give preliminary well, I, to landscape architecture? I don't know. I, I mean, when it well, in how would you respond to that? Because well, I, I would I've like to respond to that. Through working with this particular yeah. landscape architect before, I don't well, want to get too well, far. Well, we're the down boss down. of that landscape architect. Okay, so mm -hmm. we will be instructing him what needs to be done, but. The, the basic landscape plan isn't changing, and it's right. no different but than talking about a little detail like this. Well, you're, you're granting preliminary approval, and that means preliminary. You'll okay. be coming back for final. Right. You'll I just don't want to be stuck in some right. crazy variety all over no. the world. No, no we shorts. understand that. We yeah. Notes. And, yeah. We to and we'll make sure he. I want to see vines on yeah. the wall. I want to see those comments attempted we'll be incorporated. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the condition of this approval. So mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if we can perhaps carry those same landscape comments over. Thank you. That would be great. Um, um, well, I guess yes, Murray. maybe while we're on the topic, um, I'm sure this is going to be granted a preliminary approval. And I just want to be sure that th everything that was uh, set and, and approved by this commission about the cottage and its res restoration and its all that is part of the package. And that my, you know, this is just all talking about the new building, but the old building is not. And I just want to be sure that, you know, Susan Gantz always said that you don't want to separate this stuff out, but I just don't see that. So anyway, that's it. Well, we have the landscape, uh, or I should say the historic structures report, which has been accepted. I'm sorry. No, I just want to respond to the question, the yeah. commissioner. Um, I don't think it's unusual to separate a landscape plan out for further review, um, and we do that at, at, at different levels. Well, you've a, you actually can approve the project and continue the landscape plan approval. In this case, uh, I would recommend if you're okay with the co general concept of where these, this landscaping is, you can work out the species later at a time uh, at final like and working with uh, Commissioner yeah. Adams. Uh, and, and second, I think uh, in this instance, I do want you to if you do have a preliminary approval granted, indicate for the record uh, why you think the uh, addition uh, or the new structure is compatible based on some of the conclusions that were made in the structures report and whatever additional uh, thoughts you could convey on record. Why th this design was modified and found acceptable. And Faramina, you asked about whether or not the, all of the conditions that are associated with the restoration of the cottage were are attached yeah. to this. And, and they are included in our project description and would be part of, and that's your basically your first well, condition. Well, that's my big concern yeah. is that, yes. uh, that it's, it's, uh, it's included in whatever yeah. outcome of this uh, meeting. Yeah. So it's clear. I know right. it's in the, that uh, project right. description, but it, the project description uh, will have to uh, match with the approval the, of whatever. And the conditions of approval. We are right. not seeing that, so I'm just saying right. that it should be Can I just clarify, Jaime, you were saying that we could approve the landscaping concept, you use the words concept, and then determine the species later, but isn't that a preliminary? No, I, what I was just concerned about is Mr. Uh, Commissioner Adams' concerns about still uh, weighing in on the species of trees, a and, and my understanding is that if you've d developed an uh, understanding of where these trees would go, that lets the issue of species could be resolved at a later time. So you can grant preliminary approval if you find that there's sufficient information for you to grant preliminary on the landscape plan. Well, I'll leave that up to Mr. Adams to think well, about. Um, you know, I've just, I've just been battling with this particular landscape architect before about species in the right. past, and I'm, I'm very wary. Okay. And, well, and frankly, I, I, I just want to be on the same page with this project and. It's just based on my experience. Sure. And it's a very talented landscape architect, but uh, I, I, I'm just hesitant to to well, give this approval sure. with some of those well, tree names. Since we, we can split, the approval. since we can split the, the approval, we can split the approval well, and give preliminary well, only for the building. Madam Chair, and hold on the preliminary. But, but you know, I'm taking into account what the architect says and all. But those comments stand. Every comment that we've made those are the yeah. conditions has to of stand in, in yeah. uh, you know. It can the species name can change from 
from preliminary to final. I, I, I mean, I have to reserve that right. But you have, by, right, by right. virtue yeah. of the fact that you have conditioned okay. the approval yeah. upon those changes that are noted yeah. in the and minutes. Tr and just in good faith, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. accept the landscape plan because I do like the locations of the plant material. Carlos is not going to pay him unless he does exactly <laughs> what is in those minutes, yeah. and that will motivate yeah. any landscape, landscape architect. We're just, sure we're just looking for a better. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Small, small room to noise. Uh -huh. This is the elevation that faces towards the Cove Rubius Adobe, and it's, a, it's an open parking lot. Yes. And this just, just feels so, I imagine it's beautiful from the inside, but this feels so incredibly modern. This just feels much more traditional. If I were looking from the Cove Rubius, I would see something that looks more of the time. It's just food for thought. Mm -hmm. By virtue of the rectangular window mm -hmm. instead of well, the arch top? Or? It's, it's something about the proportions of this. It's, it's very tall, very, it feels very modern to me. Like I say, from the inside, I imagine it's pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. But this just has a, you know, with the wrought iron balcony, the square windows, the more, if there's more stucco up in here, it'll be more believable. It just, it just somehow feels more traditional. But I've just thrown that out for food for thought. Mm -hmm. I wish I could comment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> well, you can go ahead and comment. We don't have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do it out in the hallway. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, Madam Chair, for what it's worth, if the commission feels that they'd rather have a square window, I, I don't have a, a big I think I am partial to the square window. I, I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, the rectangular it's, window, it's, not the yeah. square window. More elegant, yeah. somehow. Yeah. All right. I know, I know. Do I have any other comments? So at the moment, I understand we are willing to grant preliminary approval for this building as it is substantially in conformance with previous review, and there's comment regarding a number of details that the architect understands that we will be working through, and we are willing to grant preliminary approval for the landscape, but again cautioning the applicant regarding surveillance on our part for conformance to our comments. I I think you're looking to me for a comment about why this is in compatible with our. I think it would be wise to put on record why you think it's compatible with the front cottage, or what uh, made let, this design compatible. Let, let me start. Let, let me just throw in a comment, and that is there's a very well placed tree separating the buildings, that I feel is very important to the success of this of this project. I feel that. Uh, the, I, I, would add, I would add that we should add comments regarding the whole project as far as the compatibility between the two pieces. I think whatever you can do to embellish that, what type of changes you felt were made to the project to make it more compatible. Mass was significantly reduced. Oh. It's oh. a reasonable development on the site. I don't know. Because I get your, you didn't make your comment, I make mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let, let Alex go. I didn't mean to put words in your mouth. <laughs> Tossing out <laughs> language. No, I, I think I, I always found this 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 project acceptable because it does a, a, a very important thing, which is to preserve the Myers cottage, a portion of it, even though it's only a portion of it and it's moved and so forth. But I found that reasonable, and and it would be a way to save this this. Uh, Cottage for posterity, and it, it creates a, a vital use for it. It's not just a, a, a dead piece of, uh, of, of architecture, but it will have a commercial use inside. Second, it, it pu puts a second building on, on, on the site, separated by landscaping of modest proportions. And we've been discussing about what modest proportions mean. We've been going back and forth for like a couple of months on that. But it is the height, and, and uh, of, of, to the eave, is, 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 is limited has only one small element as a, as, as a small tower that we have discussed forever. And I find, uh, and in my opinion, it, it is compatible to, 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 the, to the neighborhood and to the uh, structure in front. That is, those are the findings. And I, I would make a motion for, for approval, if, mm. uh, for preliminary approval with those comments. Madam Chair? Yes. Can I read um, development plan approval findings into the record so that you all may incorporate that into your preliminary approval? Would you read them? Yes, I will. Staff finds the project consistent with the required findings and recommends that Historic Landmarks Commission make the necessary findings as outlined and include them in the motion for preliminary approval of the project. 
The proposed project comp complies with all provisions of the zoning ordinance based on a preliminary plan check review by planning division staff. Plans will undergo further zoning plan check review to ensure compliance when submitted to the Building and Safety Division. It's consistent with the principles of sound community planning as determined by the project's consistency with the city's general plan. Development will not have a significant adverse impact upon the neighborhood's aesthetics or character in that the size, bulk, and or scale of the development has been deemed compatible with the neighborhood. Development will not have a significant unmitigated adverse impact upon city and south coast affordable housing stock because the loss of one unit is minimal. Uh, the de development will not have a significant unmitigated adverse impact on the city's water resources because the proposed project is within the anticipated growth rate for the city and therefore the city's long-term water supply and existing water treatment and distribution facilities would adequately serve the proposed project. The potential increase in demand from the proposed project would constitute a less than significant impact to the city water supply and distribution facilities. Uh, transportation planning staff can make the development plan approval findings for the proposed development because the development will not have a significant unmitigated adverse impact on the city's traffic and repair and replacement of public improvements will be in place at time of project occupancy. Yikes. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't Did you have me that? repeat that. <laughs> Are there any other comments we wish to add to the list of compatibility findings? Because I'm assuming you need this as ammunition. Um, I just, I would like to add that the preliminary plan indicates that there, there will be using low water using plants in accordance with the uh, water conservation ordinance in place at this time. Thank you. I, I just, this is not a comment for the record, but, but I just want to say I was looking through the uh, interpretations of the Secretary of Interior guidelines that staff provided for us and have been very helpful. And there's a very similar project to this, which is a small building which has been removed a couple of feet and that was fine. And then they said, but then there were cumulative impacts. And they talked about an underground parking and a humongous building behind. And they lifted the building. And at some point, cumulative impacts, the interior standards were no longer applicable. And I thought about your project quite a bit and um, thought about the cumulative impacts. And I think you have not gone over the threshold of cumulative impacts. You have tried to modulate the mass of the building behind. And as been said, you have tried to provide vegetative screening in between the buildings. And you have preserved the cottage. You've only moved it nine feet. It is still in relation to the street. So I've struggled a long time with this. And these are obviously not comments that can be made. But um, the use of those interpretive standards has been very helpful. Call the question. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So is preliminary and indefinite continuous? Yes, indefinite Thank you. continuous. Can we continue it for final approval, or how does that work? It's automatic. Yes, you, you would go to, a, you've got three yeah, limits. Yeah, I thought we could come back Corey in a couple Congress. of weeks, actually. Two weeks, it was Two structural weeks. and everything? Well, not structural, One, no. but we'll have Abstain. all the details and all that. So. All right, so yeah. all those in okay. favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? One. One. Oh, two. All those abstain? And can you please state for the record why you are opposing? Um, yes. I, um, first of all, I really want to commend and I respect the majority of the code of the commission. Uh, my, um, uh, all along, I've always said that the size of this project and, and, the, and the remaining uh, cottage, which is, I repeat again, is going to be 415 square foot in front and in this new building is 3,000 plus square footage. I just do not find that compatible. And that's why I'm um, say I'm going to But at the same time, I'm very, very respectful of the majority. Very grateful to the applicant for saving the building and all that. Thank you, Madam Chair. And just, just for the record, I, I just want to say I think the good news is that this beautiful little cottage will be preserved. And I know Mr. Adami is committed to turning it into a little jewel in the city. And 
you know, for what it's worth, it's not unusual to have small buildings, historic buildings in close proximity to one another, to larger buildings, et cetera, within the urban core of our city. And I think uh, this will ultimately be a beautiful and exemplary project. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Adjourn to 920 Summit Road. Uh, <laughs>